Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'll gonna discuss about pod affinity and anti-pod affinity. So in Kubernetes, we have a concepts like node selector and node affinity. So these concepts are used uh, to deploy, uh, to schedule a particular pod on a specific node. So uh, depending on the node labels. So for example, uh, we're in a situation, depending on the pod label, if you want to deploy a particular pod or to schedule a particular pod, so then you might use a pod affinity or pod anti-affinity concepts. So and um, so you might be thinking now uh, where we will get this kind of situation. For example, let's say uh, you have uh, in-cache memory uh, like Redis is used in your application. So in this case, so assume like you have uh, three node cluster, three, three nodes are there. In two of the nodes, uh, your Redis cache is installed. And your web server, when, when you uh, deploy your web server, it has to be deployed whichever uh, whichever the uh, nodes has this Redis cache because it is always better if you have uh, any in-cache memory, it should co-located uh, with web server. So it will be better. So, so in that case, whichever the nodes I have Redis cache in those machines only, I want to create my web server as well. So in that scenario, we can use this pod affinity and pod anti-affinity. So now uh, let's see, let's get into the cluster. So before that, so all the files that I'm gonna use uh, for this particular demo, um, I'm gonna put uh, those files. I've already kept those files in Kubernetes uh, repository under pod affinity folder. So these are two files. So these are the two files that I'm gonna use for my this particular demo. So now let's get into the cluster. So now let's execute kubectl get nodes to check like how many nodes I have. So as you can see, uh, I have one master. Uh, there are three nodes, cube node one, NFS and VM3 are my three nodes. And also, so let me verify I, if I have any resources created. So I don't have any, oh, sorry, it's a typo mistake. Cube CTL get pods. Okay, I have one pod, uh, just ignore it. Uh, maybe uh, I was just doing some r and I would have created this particular pod. So, so let me open uh, the Redis. So this, uh, the Kubernetes repository I've already cloned onto my machine. So in this, the folder name is pod affinity. So let me open this redis.yml. And this is the deployment that I'll gonna create first. So the API version is apps v1 and the kind is deployment and the metadata name or it is cache. It depends on your project, what tags you want to give, you can give it. And replicas, two replicas I'm creating and the template. So again, the metadata of my pod and the important part starts from here, affinity the tag affinity and under that uh, affinity I'm using pod anti affinity. So here, if you, if you see, I'm creating a Redis server. Okay. Redis uh, colon uh, 3.2 Alpine. So that's, uh, I'll gonna tell you like why I'm using anti affinity. So in the pod anti affinity also, I'm using type required during uh, scheduling and ignore during execution means while scheduling my pod, so these, whatever the match expressions or topology key I've used. So these things should met. And during the execution, it doesn't matter. Like uh, during the execution, uh, if you change any these uh, labels or if you change those things, it doesn't matter. It is required only uh, while scheduling a particular pod onto the node. And so the next is label selector. In this, I've given match expressions. You can see. So in my case, I've used and pod anti affinity because uh, I don't want to create uh, two pods of Redis cache on the same node. So I just want to have only one uh, pod of Redis cache per node. So that is what I'm trying to do here. If it is already there, assume like I, I said, uh, as I have three node cluster. For example, let's say somebody has already created Redis cache in one mission. So I don't want to create that Redis cache again. Okay, so here like, uh, so here the main thing is the whatever the Redis cache has created should have these uh, uh, labels as well. So if it doesn't have, again, it might create my Redis cache there. So that, that thing you need to keep in mind. And um, 
Also, you, if you see here match expression, uh, I have key app store, app and operator in and the values is store. So whichever uh, node as a part with the label app store, I don't want to create this deployment. This this part to be uh, should not be scheduled in that particular node. So uh, I guess you got it. Like I'm using pod anti affinity and whichever uh, node as a pod with label app store, I don't want to deploy my particular pod onto those nodes. As I mentioned, I don't want to uh, keep two Redis caches in a single node. So that's the reason I'm giving this pod anti affinity to this particular Redis cache. And there is one more field, a topology key. So which is mandatory and you can't uh, keep an uh, empty value for this particular tag. And topology key, the value for this particular uh, tag uh, should be any valid uh, key label of a node. So that means when, when you create a Kubernetes cluster, so your nodes will be pre-populated with a particular uh, labels. So for example, let's say when I do kubectl nodes, um, get notes and when I do show labels so you'll be able to see a couple of labels uh, for each node right so for node one you can see there are a couple of uh, labels I have not added this so I, when I added to the cluster so it has been automatically uh, added by Kubernetes itself so to explain this so let me go back to the slide again and see, these are the uh, tags that are uh, labels that will go to Kubernetes will add to your node. So the first three things, uh, which is one is Arch, uh, architecture, and another one is OS and the host name. So these are uh, definitely for every uh, every node when you attach to the cluster, it will be there. But depending on um, the way you, you create your cluster, that also matters for these labels. For example, let's say you have created your node, uh, cluster by using any cloud provided services. So in that case, maybe node might have a tag like zone or region. So these, these are cloud specific, but these architecture and OS and host name. So for all the nodes, so in the Kubernetes, definitely, I guess will these uh, three uh, labels will be there on that particular node. Okay, and um, now let's get into the uh, machine again. So here, if you see, uh, you can see here, right? Uh, Arch is AMD 64 and um, also like uh, Linux. And again, like the host name is cube node. And also you need to understand one more thing. Uh, so topology, if you want to say in simple terms, it is again, one more match expression. So like, uh, we will we will check like pod labels, right? Like that, uh, this, uh, this topology is also you can in a simple terms I can see kind of a match labels. So if you want to understand that topology, I have a few few uh, examples for that. So let's see the first example. So in this case, uh, let's say I have pod affinity, and if you see I require during scheduling and ignore during execution. So I've already discussed this a label selector and match expression. So in this uh, in this case I'm using pod anti affinity. In this case, so whichever the node as a uh, node uh, having a pod with label app store, I don't want to uh, uh, deploy my particular pods onto that node. So for example, let's say uh, I have this node, uh, this cluster, uh, which has two nodes, node one and node two. And now I want to deploy uh, this particular pod with this pod anti-affinity. So now it will check uh, app in store. So that means I shouldn't deploy my particular pod onto this node one, right? So now the host name value will be node one and it will go now, now scheduler can take a decision. Like I shouldn't take, uh, I shouldn't deploy uh, onto the node one. So it will gonna deploy it onto the node two. So it is, I guess it, it's little confusing. Uh, I mean, when you do a, a demo or like when you do a practice, then, then you'll get to know like what is topology key exactly. So I have one more example. Let's say um, I have uh, in this case pod affinity. And again, required during scheduling and ignored during uh, execution. A la a label selected, match expression. And here, if you see security in S1. So whichever the node as 
a, a pod with the label security S1. So then I want to deploy on on to those kind of like uh, 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 those kind of nodes. So assume like this is my uh, particular cluster which has three nodes, and in this uh, cluster I have two nodes are US East one, as you can see in the diagram. So one node is US East two A. So now what happens? Uh, now it will gonna match with this label, and as you can see, topology key is a zone, right? Uh, so this zone will be matched by two two missions. Now so the scheduler can schedule your pod onto this node or on this node. So it is kind of like union of your topology key and the match expansion. So hope you got a clear understanding now. So, so it, it is little confusing. So if you do practice on your own clusters, then you will get to know what exactly this topology key is. So now let's get into the cluster. And so as I have already explained, uh, so this is what my ready uh, uh, YML. So let me create that. To CTO, I'll play iPhone F, and then I'm just giving this YML. So now uh, let me do cube CTO, get all. Uh, let me reconfirm whether it is created or not. Yeah, you can see um, it is getting created. So you can see uh, there are two Redis cache, which is getting created. And now um, I have one more file, so which is a web server. So when I do cat on uh, web server YAML. So now uh, my main intention is my web server should be deployed onto the nodes, whichever my, uh, onto the nodes where my Redis uh, cache is running. So that is what I want to uh, make sure. So my web server should run on on the node where like my Redis cache is running. So here uh, you can see uh, API version is apps v1 and the kind is deployment. So replicas are two and the main part starts here, affinity. Here I'm using pod affinity. So because I need to match with my Redis cache label and I need to deploy it there, right? So here also the same thing uh, I have taken required during scheduling and ignored during execution and app web store. So uh, if you remember, let me do cat again on that, cat and redis. And if you see uh, my label uh, for these uh, parts is app colon store. So that is what I'm matching it here. Uh, so which, uh, whichever node as a part with app store, so deploy it there. Sorry, this is for anti-affinity. Uh, I'm really sorry. This is for anti-affinity. So whichever the node as a pod with app colon web store, I don't want to create my pod there because I don't want to create duplicate of a duplicated web server on that particular node. So that's why I'm using pod anti-affinity. I'm making sure only one copy of my um, web server is there for each node. Means like a one particular node. And then again, if you see uh, uh, pod affinity, here I'm using app store. Means I'm co uh, co correlating with my uh, uh, Redis cache uh, pod. So required during scheduling and during execution, which is ignored. If you see here, I'm matching with app store. So if a particular node as my Redis cache in my uh, this particular demo, so then go ahead and deploy that particular uh, web web store application on that particular node. Also, this topology is uh, Kubernetes hosting. So as we see in the diagram, so the explanation that I've given there holds good for this as well. So now let's go ahead and create this as well. kubectl, apply iPhone F and web server YML. So when I create that, so let me verify it. Sorry. CTO get all. So when I do this, you can see there are uh, four running things. One is Redis cache web server, two parts for, for web server and two parts for Redis cache. So now when I do O wide, so you should be able to see um, it should be uh, deployed. See, uh, you can see Redis, uh, Redis uh, cache is there on cube node one and NFS. And even my web server is there in NFS and cube node one. So the third node, uh, which is in my case, uh, which is VM3. 
So none of the pods has been deployed there because uh, I have a requirement of two replicas, right? So whichever the node uh, as this Redis cache on the same, I have deployed my web servers as well. So this is what I wanted to show in this particular video. Uh, so depending on uh, your pod label, if you want to deploy any uh, your web server pod or any requirement, if you face like this, so you can go and you can use pod affinity and pod anti-affinity concepts, and you can deploy your pod onto a specific node. So that's it for this video. Uh, so if you like the video, uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.